Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, we back on the beat. And we have to rush to get to the launch site. We don't know where it's going to be. It's going to either be at the mouth or at Jabula Beach. So now I'm going to cover the distance. Let's have a look. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. The can launch by the mount or by Jabula. We can also manage. Interesting cloud formation, beautiful, beautiful cloud formation this morning here. Yo. Then it, this is how it looks like right above us. Very misty there at Ingwe and Jabula. I don't know if we look down south from Ingwe if you see the same mist this side, but here with us there's no mist at the moment. Water colors is beautiful. Hi guys, this is a call for advertisers for the Extreme Boating Channel. Yes, there's a competition, angling competition coming up. And we need extra traveling money. So um, anybody that wants to take the advertising spot, please contact me. You've got my number, 081. 342-7371 and um, help a man out to keep the channel going thank you very much and we've got the sandbank forming here on the north of where the estuary mouth is currently that is almost low tide and we've got the ocean counter current forcing the dirty water exiting the estuary mouth right over there to go south towards Mopelon. Let's take a slow pan to the right. And there's almost no mouth left. Is there something wrong with this focus? There is the sand deposited. Oh, it doesn't look good. That got unstuck somewhere. Do I need to comment? This was dredger spoils that was on the western side of the southwestern side of the estuary and then the global environmental five global environmental fund project five took that dredger spoils and put it here now all that's happening now 
is that dredges pools is now deposited there because this is an ocean counter current coming in here Life and a grey in the, together here at the little peninsula. I've got the rough configuration of the focus sorted, but now it's starting to rain. Guys, it's starting to drip, so I had to put the camera away. I don't even want a little bit of moisture on it. So we're on the cell phone. We walked all the way here, so we might as well complete the video. Show you the ocean-borne sediment mixing with the bentonite mud. We've already done various videos on how hard that becomes. Rock hard. Rock, rock, rock hard. But if there's time, I will do an insert again today. If I can find a gap in the rain the highest vegetated sand dune is on Fraser Island at Australia which is also a world heritage site and just for interesting sake you can buy a permit to drive on the sand dunes on Fraser Island there's some life in the puddles here wow Maybe if we creep up on it, we can see what it is. It's a lot of juvenile crabs that made this sandbar their home. A lot of phytoplankton being born and spawned right over there. Nope, whatever the life form is here, they keep on evading me as I approach it. But this little water over here, there's a lot of life. I just can't see. Ah, it's prawn! It's baby prawn! It's baby prawn right here in the estuary. Wow! Now I believe that there's marine water retention. Wow! Imagine if we had more of those ca uh, channels dug into this mud. When there was a lot of water what the life growth would have been here right now wow 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 This is a step in a step in a step. This is nice and interesting hydrology taking place here. Whoever is going to win the tender to amend the management plan has got the work cut out for them. There's a piece of net. Nope, that's how gill net looks like, my friend. I've seen plenty of them. That's gill net. <laughs> 